as old as civilization itself, our search for mastery over the wind and the waves has taken us to areas of discovery that were once unimaginable. As we seek to understand and control the forces of nature that can power us through the water on a journey that has only just begun. got on the water and realized that you can only get so far by rowing. Sailing has opened up new boundaries. So I think boats will ultimately just keep going a little bit faster. We are dealing with problems which is of the order of uh, sometimes one billion of environments. 100 knots for me is not something impossible. The sky is the limit. It's my life. I never think about anything else. When you get rid of the rules, you can incorporate anything you want doing what you dream of doing. It's your turn to step up to the plate. There's always going to be a place for sailboats. Many people, many designers, uh, optimize boat around power. The more sail area you can have, seemingly faster boat will go. The search for speed comes in many forms. Speed Dream is the vision of Vlad Murnikov, designer of Russia's first ever Whitbread race entry, Fazizi. In 1989, its lightweight and streamlined shape upstaged many heavyweight rivals. And this emphasis on efficiency over power, Murnikov believes, could solve the equation for speed. Now think for a moment if you say, okay, instead of increasing power, I will reduce drag. I will try to make both as slippery as possible and as light as possible. So a boat will move uh, through whatever it is and with less power needed. Speed Dream will challenge every aspect of boat design. So for example, what we do to reduce resistance, we have this very slippery, uh, almost delta shape hull form. That means that boat has a nice pointy wave piercing bow, which can actually go through whatever this is, improving seaworthiness, reducing pitching of the boat and the waves. 100-foot monohull that can sail at 50 knots in open ocean and cover 1,000 miles in a single day. Let's just imagine that keel can't at 75 degrees to windward and both heels 15 degrees. That means that keel is completely out of water, flying above the waves. So the, the potential is tremendous. Conventional monohull design has seen a steady increase in maximum speed to the present level of just over 40 knots. Speed Dream aims to move into territory usually occupied by multi-hulls to produce sailing's ultimate thrill ride. The bleeding edge of the sport is, is really where Speed Dream Project is going to be pushing that edge, learning from that, and uh, really sort of opening up people's eyes to something a little bit different. For thousands of years, we have wrestled with the challenges of using nature to propel us through the water. Searching for the most effective way to make the best use of the elements around us. But in seeking to understand how to make a boat sail fast, we can also unlock many other areas of knowledge. We can gain a greater understanding of how blood flows around our bodies we can use less of our planet's resources, and we can find more efficient ways to generate power. There's a certain purity and kind of beauty about using nature to propel yourself. You know, I don't think that's ever gonna go away, no matter how good technology gets. Um, you know, there's still gonna be nothing like being on a boat in the water, using the sails to get yourself somewhere. Mm -hmm.